Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain you about how to write resume using MS Word. The resume, we know that it represents the applicant and it also helps the employer to know more about us. And it also gives an idea about our writing skills as well as it, as well as it provides the our contact information. Hence, it must consist of name and contact details and the objective of our resume and it also consists of work experience and educational qualifications. If we are already working in any company then work experience must come before the educational qualification. If you are applying the job as a fresher then educational qualification is essential. As far as technical skill is concerned, it usually consists of the computer knowledge and our resume must also consist of academic projects. At the end, it must consist of personal details and our declaration. Now let's see how to create an attractive resume using MS Word. Now I will show you how to create a resume using MS Word. Before we start typing the resume, we must select the size of the paper. To select the size of the paper, go to size, click on A4. Once we select the paper size, go to margin, click on margin, select the narrow. Once we are done with the paper size and selection of the margin, let's type the content of the resume. First type the name. I will write my name here and before that I must choose the font. I will choose the font as Times New Roman and the font size for my name is 22 points and here I will write my name. Once I write my name, after that I have to write address, email id and contact number. Here I have written the address, mobile number and my email id. Here I can see that there is a space between my name and the address. In order to remove the space, go to this space option, click on remove space after paragraph. This removes the space. Select this and click on bold because the name is very important and it must highlight in our resume. Once I write my the basic detail, here I can draw one line. In order to draw a line, go to insert, select shape, click on line and here shift, press shift and draw a line. Here I can see that the line is drawn. In order to increase its thickness, just select the line and right click on it, go to format auto shape, here select 3 point, click on ok. This increases the thickness of the line and here we can observe that the size of this content is of 16 and the font style is times new row. Now I will type the career object. Just type career objective. And its font size must be 16. Since there is a space between the line, just select it as Once I type career objective, I can highlight it by using shading, just select the shade. While writing career objective, we must know the job profile and the skills required for the job. Based on the, these requirements, we must write our career objective. For instance, I am applying for computer operator post with my skill set. Let's see how to write the career objective for that position. Here I have written, I seek a job as a computer operator in a company where I can use my knowledge of MS Office and Photoshop. I wish to contribute towards organizational goals through my technical skills, hard work and creativity. Here I can see that for the position computer operator, 
I'm applying this resume and the skill set I have is MS Office and Photoshop for education qualification type education qualification and again go to shades select this shade in educational qualification I can enter this with the help of one table insert table with four columns and three rows here the first one is the discipline discipline or the specialization and the next one is board year of passing and percentage correct spellings discipline specialization board and adjust this and right click on the table click on auto fit to window now enter the detail while entering the educational qualification the highest qualification must be in first row and then the lowest qualification must be in the last row i will start with my uh, highest qualification that is diploma in computer science from board of department of technical education UT karnataka year of passing as 2011 percentage as UT and at 12th from ASTV board 2008 25th 10th standard AMT board and if there is any spelling mistake please correct it yes we are done with educational qualification now once we write educational qualification then we have to write our technical skills or computer skills just type computer skills and write here here this is my computer skills that is MS Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Access, Photoshop and Internet. After the computer skills, I must mention my strength. My strength factors that is good strength of working with team, strong ability to work with creativity and determination. After this, we must write the personal details. Now, while entering personal detail, we must create the tab. I will create the tab here to the, on the scale, click on first tab here and second tab to the 5 and third tab to the 5.5. Let's enter the detail. First start with the father name. First start with father name. Click tab, owner, click tab, write the father name. I am writing my father name. Likewise, we have to enter all the personal details. This is my personal detail. Once I enter the personal detail, once I enter the personal detail, now it's time to write the declaration. I have to write the declaration as I hereby declare that. The statements and information are true to the best of my knowledge and here you can add some space here once i write the declaration here i have to write the date that is 12th july 2020 the place here i can write quickly press tab yes this completes the resume before we submit the resume we must to the proofreading, we should ensure that there should not be any spelling mistake. Here I can see that I must write the pin code with hyphen. Here I can also draw a box to affix my photo. To draw the box, just go to shape. Here, just draw a box for the photo. Here we are done with our resume. We can also save this resume in PDF format. To save the PDF format, go to File, click on Save As, go to PDF, and write the name, select the location, click on Publish. Here I can see that this is my complete resume. Thank you.